Hi, Kathleen Packard with KathleenPackard.com and ILN with Kathleen.com. Today is day 14 of the Internet Lifestyle Network video challenge. We are going to do some editing today with Windows Movie Maker for PCs. So stay in. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to go bring up Movie Maker if you haven't already. All you have to do is go to your stat bar, type in Movie Maker, and it should pop right up for you. Mine is already up here. And if you don't have it on your PC, it's a free download, Windows Movie Maker. Now you want to click on up here, and it will bring up your files where you can go get your movie. Okay, so now we have our movie brought in from our file. And we want to edit this. So down here on the lower right, you've got a little slide bar. If you slide that to the right, it will expand that out so you can see more frames of that movie. It makes it a lot easier to um, be able to split or edit out what you don't want. Now, if you have a very large movie, if you find that you can't move it down to get to that, you just need to slide this bar back a little bit so that the movie fits on your what you can see here so that you can get your splits. Okay, you can do this by either running this. This one here is kind of noisy because it's driving along in a vehicle. So, or you can just kind of pull this. Now, there's parts of this, like right here, there's nothing that anybody really wants to see. So if you can kind of slope, so right about there, we want to add a split. So if you right click, right on that spot, hit split, now that's broke that off. Now you can pull that back, see there's nothing there that you really want. Right click again, hit remove, boom, that's gone. And you can kind of pull this along, all this is good, we, we don't mind seeing the scenery, but maybe we just don't need quite so much of the barn or right there, so we want to cut another piece of that out. So here, we just cut, split, all along, and we want to split that again. Look, yep, that's exactly what we want to take out. Hit remove. Now when you are going along, this is going to play. And it goes seamlessly right, right through. Okay, now, what if you've got an intro that you want to add into this? You go back to your file, wherever you have saved your intro. Okay, right here is the, the intro that we want. I'm going to open that. So now you can see it always puts your intro right on the bottom. But you don't have to worry. You just come up here anywhere that you want to put that in and say you want to put it right there. You can add it right at the beginning if you want. Or you can make a split. Once you've done that split, you just bring that up there, slide that in. It's as easy as that. Now, maybe you want a title. All you got to do is come up here. Running along. You can adjust this. You can move this along. Now, now you can slide that right back here in the front. Or you can leave it. You can do a frame. Depends on what you want to do. You can do anything you want here. Now, maybe you want to do some visual effects. If you click on these, it will show you what. The so there's many, many things that you can do with this as far as sliding it around, cutting, 
splitting, opening up, moving your moving your um, pieces around. This you could even bring back up here in the front. You can slide this over here. You can just hit copy if you want this to be at the end also. And that way, you, once it does it, it puts it right beside it, and then you just drag it down for your, in your video. It's real easy, real simple. That's it. Hopefully I was able to share um, a little tip or trick here or there that you didn't know. Make it a great day. Peace and success. Kathleen Packard.